So I am going ahead and I'm going to record the rest of this class. So do I have any more questions about the triangles here? I'm not going to go over another one because you've seen how to do these now. So if you follow the same thing I did for each of these, you should be fine. Base times height divided by two, four triangles. And guys, if you don't need help, I don't need you to respond no in a chat. Just give me a chat if you need it. Because every time someone enters a chat, it, it flashes on my screen and, and it's a distraction. All right, so, so far, no questions about these triangles we've gone over. So I'm going to clear and go to the next page. Excuse me. Yes. Um, how do I edit the work if I've already submitted it? All right, so we, we could talk about that later. That's something you can ask me in a chat. Let me just, for those of you who have the online um, notebooks and you don't have a hard copy, listen very carefully. You should not have submitted because we're not done yet. So there's no reason to submit something we have not finished. So if you submitted it, you're, te you're telling me that you're done and you want a grade. All right, let's move on to the next page. All right, this is the um, leggy triangles and we've already gone over this as a class. So I'm not gonna go over this again. Let's talk about these trapezoids though. These trapezoids gave a lot of trouble for many people. So we are gonna go over them. And I'm going to remind you that for trapezoids, we split these into two triangles. So our area of a triangle is our base times our height divided by two. Base times height divided by two. All right, so we already did the first, I did the first trapezoid with you in class. So I'm not gonna go over that one again. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to go over all of these trapezoids, guys. There's only four more, one, two, three, four. Yeah, only four more. I am going to go over all of these. I must be feeling like just amazing today. <laughs> All right, guys, just give me one second. I'm going to mute so I'm not blowing my nose inside of the this live. So give me one second. All right, guys, I am back. I am back. I'm going to, let's start going over all of these triangles. All right, so let's look at number two. Remember guys that for the triangles, we, um, for the trapezoids, excuse me, we go, we draw a line from one corner of the base up to the other corner so that we separate this into two triangles. And remember guys that I really like to go ahead and highlight my triangles, at least one of them, so that I can see it a lot better. It makes it, it just makes it easier so that you can focus on one colored triangle at a time. All right, so now I am going to look at, remember I like to call my, the triangle is like at the top, I like to call that triangle number one. It doesn't matter which one of you do first though. 
So for triangle number one, what is the base, guys? This the tri yellow triangle, guys. What's the base? 12. 12. 12. Very good. 12. And what's the height of that triangle? Seven. 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 Very Seven good. feet. Awesome. So now let's look at the green triangle, triangle number two. What is our base for triangle number two, the green one? 18. 18. 18. Very good. And what is the height? Seven. Seven. Very good. So remember, guys, when we are looking at a trapezoid and we split it into two triangles, the height of both triangles are going to be the same. So let's go ahead and work on our yellow triangle. We're going to do our base times our height. All right, so we have 12 times seven. And what's 12 times seven, guys? 84. 84. Very good. So now we are dividing our 84 by our two, and we get what? 42. 42. All right, so now we know that this yellow triangle, the area is 42. All right, so now let's go work on, let's go work on our triangle number two, our green triangle, okay? And we already saw that, <clears throat> sorry. We see that we've already put our data that it is 18 is seven, so 18 times my seven equals 126. And now we are going to divide that 126 by two. 63. All right, and we get 63. So now I know that my area of the green triangle is 63. So in order to get the total area, guys, of this entire trapezoid, I'm going to have to add my 42 plus my 63. And that gives me 105. So I know that my total area is 105. But now over here, I'm gonna make sure in showing my work, I'm putting my units and I see that we use feet. So it's 105 square feet. You can write it like that, or you can write it like this, feet with the exponent of two. Any questions about this one? Don't put the answers in chat, guys. I'm showing each one. All right, let's look at number three. Let's look at number three. All right, so I see the two parallel bases, right? These slanted sides can't be bases for a trapezoid because those aren't parallel lines. So I see I have two parallel bases. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from the corner of one of the bases. And I'm gonna draw a line to the opposite corner of the base to form two triangles. So I am now gonna go ahead and highlight one of my triangles. And remember guys, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's not art. We just wanna go ahead and be able to see the two triangles. There we go. 
Now I'm going to color the other one as well. But you don't have to. You can leave one as a white triangle and one as a colored triangle. Just depending upon if you have a pat paper packet, then it just depends upon what your the colors you have. All right, so let's go ahead and remember I like to do the one that looks like it's on the top. We're, I'm gonna call that triangle one. You can, all right, so triangle one, what is the base of triangle one? Seven. So we're looking at the green triangle, guys. What is the base of the green triangle? 3.8. 3.8. Cuz if I'm looking at this green triangle, look at this base here. Remember, the parallel bases are the bases of the triangles. So I have 3.8 here. So what is the height of this triangle? Seven. Seven, very good. All right, and now I'm gonna go over here for triangle two, which is the purple triangle for me. What is the base of that triangle? 6.2. 6.2, very good. And what is the height of that triangle? Seven. Seven, very good. Because remember the height of both triangles are gonna be the same. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on the first triangle. We have to do our base times height. And unless you wanted this to be like super long, you, could go ahead and easily hold on. I gotta let some a student in. Give me a second. All right. So unless you are, um, you have superpowers to do this fairly quickly, and some of you may. I like to go ahead and just use a calculator real quick and throw this in. So hold on. Let me get my pen back. So that's 3.8 times seven, which equals my 26.6. So I did my base times height. And now I need to divide that by two, 26.6 divided by two. And that gives me 13.3. So I'm going to put my 13.3 here. So I found the area of this first purple triangle. All right, so now it's time for me to go ahead and work on my next triangle, my green one. All right, so I have my base of 6.2 times my height of seven, and I get 43.4. Now it's time for me to divide that 43.4 by two and I get 21.7. All right. So, but I need to know the total of this entire, this entire trapezoid. All right, so that means I need to add the two areas together. So I have 13.3 plus my 21.7. And I get 35. But I have to do my units now for my final answer over here. 35, I see it's in feet. So it's square feet. Or you might like to write it with the exponent, square feet.
All right, guys. Um, I said I'm going to do this entire page, so you don't have to ask me to do it. Number five, I'm going to do the entire page here with you guys. All right. So now let's look at number four. Let's look at number four. I am going to, again, start my, hold on, let me check the chat. All right. And remember, guys, we're doing this like a class. So when you chat me, it's like putting your hand up in the middle of me talking. If you have not already put your name into the chat, go ahead and do that now so that I know that you are here. And if you're, you know, your mom might ask, hey, did you go to the help session? You could say, indeed, I did. All right, so I see the two parallel bases. Look at this slanted line. That means those two aren't parallel. So I'm looking at my parallel bases and I am going to draw a line from one corner of my parallel base to the opposite corner at the other parallel base. All right, so we have two triangles here. So now I'm going to go ahead and shade my triangles in. Just to help me see what I'm doing with each triangle easier, more easily. And guys, remember this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just shading it in so that we can see these a lot better. All right, boom. So I have both of my triangles now shaded in. And it's time for me to go ahead and do the data for each one. So for my triangle one, which for me, I'm gonna use this as my orange triangle. What is the base of triangle one? Eight. Eight, very good. And what is the height for this orange triangle? Nine. Nine, very good. So now let's look at this blue triangle. I'm gonna, that's gonna be my triangle two. What is the height? Excuse me, I'm sorry. What is the base? 12. 12, very good. And what is my height? Nine. Eight. The height of the blue triangle. Nine. nine. It's nine. Remember the heights of both triangles are the same for trapezoids. All right. So now I could go ahead and begin my work. Let's start with the orange triangle. I have my base times my height. So this eight times nine, that gives me 72. And now I divide my 72 by two, and that gives me 36. All right, so I'm gonna write my 36 here. Found the area of that triangle. Now let's work on our next one. We're gonna do again, base times height, guys. So I have my base of 12 times my nine, and that equals 108. And now I'm gonna divide that 108 by two, and that gives me 54. So I know that the area of the blue triangle is 54. All right, so now in order to have the total area of this trapezoid, I need to add these two areas together. 36 plus my 54 is equal to 90. So now I could put my units, 90 square, feet.
All right. So now let's look at number five, guys. Number five is crazy. Okay. Let's look at number five. So it says Mrs. Chamberlain wants to retile the front of her roof. The roof of her house is six feet tall. All right. So they, they gave us the height there. The roof of her house is six feet tall. If each tile is one half foot by one half foot, how many towels does she need to buy in order to cover the entire front of the roof? That's a lot of information. Okay, so before I even get started here, I'm going to draw my line so that I can separate this into two triangles because I wanna go ahead and find the area of this trapezoid. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade. All right, and now I'm gonna shade my other triangle. All right, so let's go ahead and get the data down for each of these triangles. So for triangle one, I'm gonna be, that's gonna be my green one. What is my base for trauma one, uh, triangle one? What 12. is, my, well, very good. And what is my height? Six. Six, because they told us that inside of the work problem. All right, so now let's come over here. I'm going to do uh, triangle two. What is my base for the orange triangle? 18. 18, very good. And what is my height? Six. Six. Do you remember the heights of the trapezoid triangles are always the same? And they told us in the word problem that they are six. All right, so now we could go ahead and get started with our work here. Let's do our first triangle. So this is where we are, we are still doing base times height divided by two guys. So we are putting our 12, uh-oh, hold on with my pen. All right, we are doing our 12, times our six, which gives us 72. And now we're gonna divide that 72 by two. And that gives us 36. So now I know that my green triangle, the area is 36 square feet. Now let's work on our second triangle we have to do base times height. So 18 times six is equal to 108. And now we take that 108, oh, excuse me, I wrote that wrong. All right, now we take our 108 and we divide it by two and we get 54. So now I know that the area of my orange triangle is 54, but to find the total area, I need to add that 36 plus 54, and that gives me 90. So I know that my the area of my total trapezoid is 90 square feet. But I'm not done yet. All right, I am not done yet because the problem tells me that I need to, she's going to retile this, and each tile is one half foot by one half foot. 
And then it says, how many towels does she need to cover this entire 90 square feet? So the first thing I need to do is I need to find out what is this area of these towels. All right, so I have a towel that's one half by one half, little square towel. So that means I need to multiply one half times one half. And I multiply straight across. So the square, um, the area of this square is one four. So I know that if I was retiling like Mrs. Chamberlain, each one of these little tiles on her roof that she's gonna be using is one fourth. So that means I am taking my 90 square feet and I am dividing it up into one fourth tiles. So since this is a whole number, I'm going to put it over one, but I need to do my SOAR method or some of you call it keep change flip. So I keep my first fraction the same, the first number. I change my operation to the opposite, which is multiplication. And I do the reciprocal of my second number. I flip it. So instead of one fourth, it's four over one. So now I just multiply straight across. 90 times four is 360. One times one is just one. And so I can simplify that 360 divided by one is just 360. So she needs 360 it says, how many towels does she need to buy in order to cover the, the entire front of her roof? 360 towels. So that's your Each answer. Square. No, the towels, we already know that the area is 90 square feet. We just found out how many towels she needed. So I don't have any square feet of towels. It's just 360 towels. All right, guys. So. I'm going to wait just a second to make sure everybody has this down. All right, let's move on to the next page. All right, this was our trapezoid error analysis. I already did the first one with you in class, so let's do the next two. All right, it says the height, hold on, I'm getting the chat. Um, yes, you can leave if you don't need any more help. If you feel you're all good, you can go ahead and go. But for those who um, wanna, I'm only gonna be a few minutes, um, gonna be a few minutes more. So if you wanna stay, you may. Um, I am recording this at this moment. So if you need to just watch the recording, I'm gonna put it inside of your resources as soon as this is done. So you'll be able to re-watch this video to get further information. <laughs> Guys, please stay muted. All right, so let's look at number two. It says the height of a trapezoid is 12 feet. Find the area of the trapezoid if the lengths of the parallel bases are three feet and two yards. Patrick says that the area is 30 square feet. Is he correct? If not, show how you solved for the correct answer. So I gave you the huge hint in class that Patrick was wrong for all of these. People who are asking about the project, the project already has a video in it for how to do the project. I said that the help session was going over pages of the packet. 
the geometry notebook so that you could get some extra help in how to solve the areas before you have to solve the areas in your project. So if you need help with the project, please watch the project video that is in the link. All right, guys, let's look at this. So remember I said that I like to model. I like to go ahead and for word problems, I like to draw it out so that I can label it and more easily solve. So I'm gonna draw my trapezoid. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just need it to look nice enough to go ahead and split it into the two triangles. But before splitting into two triangles, I'm gonna go ahead and label this. So it tells us that the height is 12 feet. So I put my 12 there. It says the parallel bases are three feet and two yards. Whoa, 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 these aren't the same. These aren't the same units. So everything else is in feet. So I'm gonna to continue to use feet. So I need to convert my two yards into feet. So I know that in one yard, one yard gives me three feet, all right? One yard equals three feet. So if I have two yards, that means I have, I could double it, that's six feet. So my base down here is six feet. So now I could go ahead and I can shade in, I could split this into two triangles and shade in my triangles. All right, and I'm gonna shade in the other one. Okay, so now let's write out, let's go ahead and write out our data for each of these triangles. I'm gonna start with triangle one. I'm gonna look at that as the pink one, okay? So let's go ahead, triangle one. What's the height of triangle, oh, what's the base, excuse me. What's the base of triangle one? The pink triangle, what's the base? Three. 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 Very good. And what's the height? Twelve. 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 Very good. All right. So now I'm going to work on triangle two and put my data. What is the base for triangle two? Six. Six. Very good. And what is the height for triangle two? 12. Well, very good. All right, so now it's time for me to go ahead and solve the areas of each of these triangles. Starting with the pink one is base times height. So I have my three times my 12, which equals 36. And now I need to divide that 36 by two, which gives me 18. So I know that the area of my pink triangle is 18. Now let's work on the orange triangle, all right? So again, we are still doing, for those I, I have some people that ask questions, if we do our base times height again, absolutely. So our six times our 12 is equal to 72. And now I take my 72 and I divide it by two and that gives me 36. So the area of my orange triangle is 36. And now to solve the area of this whole trapezoid, I'm simply doing 18 plus 36, which equals 54. So see, he thought it was 30 square feet. 
He was way off, wasn't he? So our final answer is 54 square feet. All right. So now we're going to look at the next triangle. The next, um, excuse me, next trapezoid, number three. This one was very tricky. Some people were looking at this like, what in the world? <laughs> and that's okay. Let's go over it. It says that Patrick states that if you double the dimensions of the trapezoid, that is below, then its area doubles. Do you agree? Explain your answer. Um, whoever is unmuted, I need you to mute and stay muted, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this. First, we, in order to find out whether or not anything doubles, what happens, I need to find the area of this trapezoid to begin with. So that means I'm going to go ahead and split this trapezoid into two triangles, starting from one of my the corner of one of my parallel bases and going up to the other corner. And now I'm going to shade. All right, so I'm shading my first triangle. Now let's get a different color and shade my bottom triangle. So once we have these two triangles shaded, we could go ahead and see what information we have for both of them. All right, so let's start with our green triangle. I'm gonna make that triangle number one. What is our base of that green triangle? Anybody? What is our four. base? Yes, four centimeters. All right. And what is our height of our green triangle? Nine. Green triangle, height of the five. green. Five. five. Very good. All right. And then we have triangle two, which in my case, I have it blue. What is the base? Nine. Nine. Very good. And what is the height? Five. 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 Awesome. So these, we're going to go ahead and find the area of both of these triangles. So for our triangle one, our green triangle is base times height. So four times five equals 20. And if I divide that 20 by two, I get 10. So the area of this triangle here is 10. So now let's find the area of the blue triangle. Nine times five equals 45. All right. And now we could go ahead and divide that 45 into And that gives us 22.5. So to find the entire area of this trapezoid, I have to add my 10 from that first tri triangle plus my 22.5, and that equals 32. 0.5, and I see it's in centimeters, so that's 32.5 square centimeters. But we're not done yet because 
it talks about us doubling the dimensions, doubling the dimensions. And we know that to double is to times it by two. And the dimensions are all of the measurements that we were given. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a new trapezoid. And the reason I'm going to draw a new trapezoid is so that we can go ahead and solve for a new trapezoid. And I'm, I know we're doubling the measurements, but I'm just going to make this trapezoid small so that we can have space. I just want us to be able to label. All right, so if we doubled, let's go ahead and get these labeled. If we doubled the base here from this original base, four times two is eight. So we're saying that this base is eight. And then down here, this base was nine. If we double that, that makes that base 18. It's drawing it all weird down there, guys, but that's 18. And now if I double this height, it was five. So that means my height is now 10. So to see if our height, if to see if our measurements double, like he said, I need to find the area of this triangle of this trapezoid so that I can see if it indeed doubled. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this into two triangles. And I'm going to shade my triangles. See if I can do this super quick. Right. All right, so now we're going to, let's get the data for each of these triangles. And I'm gonna, let me just do a little split because we, we know that the above data was for that first trapezoid. So now we are gonna find the data for the second trapezoid. So for triangle number one, that's the pink one. What is the base? I see the base is now eight. And now the height, I see the height is now 10. And so if I do my base times height, that's eight times 10 gives me 80. And now I need to divide that 80 by two and that gives me 40. So my answer to, for this triangle, the area is 40. So now let's go ahead and look at triangle number two, which is my yellow triangle. I see that the base is 18. And of course, my height is going to be the same as the first one, first triangle, and it's 10. All right, so now I'm going to do base times height. That's 18 times 10. That gives me 180. And now I'm going to divide that 180 by 2, and that gives me 90. So I have both of my areas, guys, both of my areas for those triangles. But I need to go ahead and add up the two triangle areas. So I have 40 plus my 90 is equal to 130. All right, 130. So the total area of this trapezoid down here is 130 square centimeters. So it's, he thought that it doubled. He thought that it doubled. So let's see if it doubled. So up 
here, the we knew that the original trapezoid was 32.5, right? So in order to double that, I have to multiply 32.5 times two, and that gets me 65. Well, look at that, 65 is not the same as 130. So he was wrong. It didn't just double it. In fact, if I take 130 and I divide it by that 65, that means it, it, went, it went a lot bigger. Excuse me, if I take my 130 and divide it by the original area of 32.5, then I get four. That means it didn't double, it was times four. All right, guys, so if everyone has this, I'm gonna move on to the next. I'm gonna give you a few seconds before I clear this and go on to our composite shapes. If you have a question, please enter it into the chat and I'll take a look real quick. All right, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna clear this and move on. All right, compound shapes. I did a few of these with you guys. This is compound shapes, number one. Compound shapes, number one. Um, I'm not going over area word problems number two because you guys have not been assigned that yet. You have not been assigned that yet. So it's nothing for me to go over yet to help you because you haven't started those yet. Again, let's look at compound shapes practice. Number one, you had to do number one and number two. So let's look at the first page. And I did a few of these with you in class. So, Tell me, go ahead and put in a chat which one you would like me to do on this page. I'll do one. I did number nine in class for you guys already, so I'm not going to do number nine again because that's one that I did with you in class. All right, I'm seeing a lot of votes for number five. So number five, it is. Number five, it is. That is the one I am going to do. I'm asking about the first practice, guys. So I'm going to do number five. So this means that I need to go ahead and split this into two shapes. All right, so I see here, I can split this here. And it looks all weird, but the measurements tell me it's 54 by 54. So that's the square. And I am going to go ahead and separate down here. I have a rectangle. So I have a square and a rectangle here. So I need to find the area of each one of these shapes and then add them together in order to get the total area of my composite shape. And this is super important for your project, guys, because you are going to be making a picture. You're not going to do just a simple little L or whatever. You're going to be making an art picture, something pretty, something cool. And then you have to find the total composite area of your picture. So. Let's look at this first one, 54. It, we know that for our area of our quadrilaterals is base times height. 
Pretty simple, base times height. So we have a base of 54 and a height of 54. So 54 times 54 is 108. All right, and now we can look down here at our green. We have a base of 90. And we have a height of 54. All right, so a base of 90 and a height of 54. So 90 times 54 is 4,000. Oops, I did something wrong. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me go back. Oops, no, I can redo that. Let me um, erase something here. I was adding my 54 plus 54, guys. I was not paying attention. All right, so our 54 times 54, guys, sorry about that, is 2,916. 2,916, sorry about that guys. So for our area down here, our, our green is 90 times 54, which is 4,860. So we're not done yet. We have to add these two areas together. So when we add these two areas together, we get 7,776. And now under, after we put that into the answer box, I can write down here, that is square yards. 7,776 square yards. All right, you know what? I'm gonna be like super cool today. Let's let's do number four. That was another one that people were messaging me about. Let's look at number four. All right, so I see that I can get a triangle and a rectangle out of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade in my rectangle and just leave my triangle gray so I can see two separate shapes. All right, so now it's time for me to find the area. Uh, before I get into that though, I'm gonna write my, so I have my rectangle or my quadrilateral area. Let me write my formula for the area of a triangle. That is base times height divided by two base times height divided by two. So let's look at our rectangle first. Our rectangle to find the area, it's just base times height. So I see the base here is 16 and I see the height of this is 12. So 16 times 12 is 192. So now I need to solve for my triangle here. So for my triangle, the base, saying what is the base? Well, I know for this rectangle, this side is 12 and the opposite sides are equal. So that means the base of my triangle is also 12. All right. And it already told me that the height of my triangle is eight. All right, so now it's time for me to use my area formula for my triangle. So that's base times height. So 12 times eight, which equals 96. And now I need to divide that 96 by two. And I get 48. So the area of my triangle is 48. Now to get the total area, I need to add my 192 by my 48 and I get 240. And this was all in 
feet, so it's 240 square feet. Square feet. Remember, if you're putting this in online, only the number goes in the box. Only the number. You're typing or writing your units. All right, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go over number eight. Let me, let me check the chat. I think number eight was another one that someone asked me for. All right, so I'm gonna go over number eight and then I'm gonna move on. So let's look at number eight. I see a couple shapes I can do. I'm gonna do this in the easiest manner possible. The easiest manner possible. And some of you are asking me for how to do, oh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do number eight. Somebody asked me to do number six and that one could be tricky because it has this little edge over here. So you may be like, whoa, how do I do this? Let's go ahead and do number six. All right, let's do number six because I went over number seven with you guys in class and it's the same way you would do number eight. So let's go over number six. All right, so I see a couple shapes here. So let's go ahead and look at the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and capture this shape up here. And I see by the measurements is 24 by 24. So they're telling me that that's a square. And I am gonna capture this shape down here. So I have a square and a rectangle, a square and a rectangle. So in order to find my area for this square, I know that I have to take base times height. So 24 times 24 is 576. All right, 24 times 24 is 576. And now this purple rectangle, the base is showing me is 48. The height is showing me is 12. 48 times 12 is also 576. So if I add these two areas together, I get 1,152. That's what I would type into the answer box. And now I can write my units. I see it's in centimeters. So it is square centimeters. All right. So. I'm gonna give you a second to make sure you have this written down. And I'm gonna clear it and go to the practice number two. All right, I'm being asked to go over number eight, even though number eight is just like seven and I already went over seven with you guys. I'll go ahead and, and I'm gonna be super cool here, guys, and I'm gonna go over number eight. I'm not sure why this one is difficult, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. You're doing it just like you did number seven. So I'm separating this into a rectangle. And I see here, it's telling me the measurement is 10 by 10. So this is a square. So now I have to simply find the area of both of these quadrilaterals, all right? So my first one is the base is 12 and my height is 13. So I'm gonna multiply 12 by 13 and it gives me 156. And now over here, it's 10 times 10, so that's 100. So when I add 156 plus 100, it is 200 
and 56 square inches. That's all I'm going over. Someone asked about number three. It's just like number two. Follow the instructions I gave you in class. Let's move on to the next page. I'm clearing this one. All right, compound shapes. Compound shapes number two. Put in the chat. I will go over two of these. Two of these. Put in the chat which two that you would like me to go over. I'm only going to go over two of these on this page. I'll go over two of these. Put, put which two you want me to go over. And the ones I see people put the most is the two. Those are the two I'll do. All right, I'm gonna check the chat, see what we have here. Some people are putting three. I said, I'm only going over two. Let's see what we have. Seeing a lot of number eights. All right, I'm seeing a lot of number eights and number nines. A lot of eights and a lot of eights and number nines. All right, so let's go over. Let's start with number eight. Let's start with number eight. I see there that I have a triangle. I see that pretty easily. All right, I have a triangle. And then I see that down here I have a quadrilateral. So I'm gonna, that's the one I'm gonna color in. All right, so I have a quadrilateral and I have a triangle up there. So let's go ahead and start with the quadrilateral. I see that the base is 18 and the height they give me is 14. I mean, the base is 14, excuse me, and the height is 14. So I see that I am simply going to pop into my calculator 14 times 14, and that gives me an area of 196. All right, 196. So now it is time for me to look at this triangle. And remember guys, I like to, for my triangles, I like to go ahead and write my data. So my base of my triangle and I need the height of my triangle. Well, my height, they tell me here is 21. So I need to know the base. So I know that if this base is 14, that means from here to here is also 14. All right, but that's not all of the triangle. That is not all of the triangle. I see I have some here and I hear, see I have some here. And they tell me that those little edges there are each six. So that means I have 14 in the center, plus the six on one side, plus another six. So my base, guys, is 26. So now I need to multiply my base times height. So my 26 times my 21 gives me 546. And now I need to divide that 546 by two.
and that gives me 273. So my area for the triangle is 273. So now I need to get to get the whole area of this arrow. I need to add my 273 plus my 196. And I get a total of 469. So that's what I'm putting into my answer box. And below it, I'm going to go ahead and write my, I see that it's square inches. All right, so now it's time for me to do number nine. And number nine was really tricky because it looks really odd. It's not looking like a house where you say, oh, triangle in a rectangle, right? So I'm going to show you that this is still a triangle and a rectangle. Let's undo that. Again, please, guys, if you have a question, put it in chat. Put it in chat. All right, let me change my color here. I'm going to go ahead and make my rectangle. I'm going to show you how there's a rectangle here. And we have a triangle here which I'll go ahead and shade. All right, so I have a triangle and I have a rectangle. This one could be a little tricky. All right, a triangle and a rectangle. So let's start off with our rectangle first, okay? Let's start with our rectangle first. It's simply base times height. So that means that we are multiplying our 16 times our eight, and we get 128. All right. And then we have a triangle up here. And I know that the height of this triangle has to be matching with this base of 16 because we know opposite sides of a rectangle are the same. So I am going to, for my triangle, I know that my height is 16 feet. But I need to know what is the base. And you might say, oh, the base of that triangle is 16 feet. But this 16 is all of this side, the triangle plus the rectangle. So I know the rectangle, this side is eight, so this side is eight. So this part of my rectangle, this part of my rectangle is eight. So if all of this is 16, that means that this eight plus this eight gives me the total of 16. So I now know that my base is eight. So now I need to do base times height. So eight times 16 what gives me 128. And now I divide that 128, divided by two, and it gives me 64. So my total, when I add my 64 plus my 128, I get 190 two square feet. So I just wanted to tell you guys, there's another way. 
All right, somebody's asking me about the two six inches on number eight. I already explained that, guys. This base here, this part was 14 plus this six plus this six. That's how we got that the base was 26, guys. Six plus 14 plus six. All right, so everybody sees, you see how I, I split this, right? I want to show you guys something. The answer is going to be the same, but I want to show you that there was another way to split this. There was another way to split this, okay? So I am going to now erase what I did so far. I'm not going to erase the answer because the answer is going to still be the same. You'll see. This is a trapezoid just on its side. So I can split this trapezoid into two triangles. Here's the parallel bases, parallel base one and two. So I will go from the corner of one parallel base to the corner of the other one so that I can shade my two triangles here, guys. I'm gonna do just a quick shade. So I am shading my two triangles. This is another way you could have split this. All right, so it's a little sloppy. Sorry about that, guys but you get the gist. And now I can get my data from each of these triangles. So I like to do the one that looks like it's on top. So I'm gonna go over the blue one. So triangle one, the base for triangle one is I see is eight feet. And the height for triangle, the blue triangle, I see the height of both of these is gonna be 16. Now my triangle two, my base for the orange one, my base is 16. And my height, of course, they are the same heights. So that's 16. So now let's solve for the area of the blue triangle. So I have eight times 16. Remember base times height is 128. And since this is a triangle, now I take that 128 and I divide it by two and I get 64. So the area of my blue triangle is 64. So now let's look at my orange triangle, base times height. So that's gonna be my 16 times 16, which equals 256. And now I'm taking my 256 and dividing it by two, and I get 128. Now, if I add my 64 plus my 128, I get a total of 192, which surprise is the same answer we got splitting the rectangle in triangle, splitting this trapezoid up a different way. All right, guys. So remember to work hard on your project. Again, there is a video that shows you exactly how you're supposed to do it for making your picture, all right? You can read the recap instructions because after, and that's in your project link as well, after you are done making a beautiful picture with your blocks and making sure they all touch, because as you notice, all of these shapes here, they touch in some way with a side. All right, so you're gonna make a picture. Then you are going to 
calculate the area of each one of the shapes you used and go ahead and submit your final total area. You'll have the total area of your picture. Do so carefully, guys, because your grade is gonna be whether or not you made a nice picture and, but the most of your grade is going to be if you calculate it properly. All right, guys, I hope this helped. I'm about to put this video inside the resources. So if you need to use it later, you can. If anyone needs me to talk privately, you could go ahead and message me an email and I can send you a Zoom link for us to talk privately. I see a couple of people raised their hands. Remember that you can message me in chat. Message me in chat. So I'm gonna stop the recording but you can message me in chat.